in this login page now we're going to uh, implement login with Google as well before we do that let's come down here and let's conditionally show uh, the loading as well because we have loading at the moment when user submit this form loading becomes true and once we get the uh, response if we have any errors we set that to false otherwise we redirect the user right, so let's use that loading so here let me cut this out and let's use ternary ternary operator so let me use loading so if we have the loading state true then we want to show that um, h4 otherwise we can show loading now you can show the loading gif image you can just download from the internet you can show some icons you feel free to do anything you can even show the component but i'm just going to leave it leave the text for now and maybe i can give a class name of uh, text danger so it will uh, look red it will have red color all right so that's how we can conditionally show the title whether it's login or uh, loading right then we have the login form so that this login form is used for login with email and password this is the one this form now we're going to have one more button for google login so right below and let me create that button so probably we can even copy this button let's copy that one all right so this one's going to be handle um, what do we call it? let's call it google login which we need to create so let's write that here actually let's put on top of this one const google login we'll come back to it later all right so so google login so the type let's give it a type of a danger that will give us the nice uh, red color that is perfectly suitable for the google login all right class name we don't actually need class name here now we can just leave margin bottom all right so block that can stay the same A round shape icon we can use google outlined which we can import on top and large size and then disabled we don't need to take that for now and we can call it login with google perfect let's go on top let's import that icon google outlined and then let's come back to this function and let's uh, implement that let's have a look at the uh, button let's go here you can see we have login with google login with email beautiful let's come back here so on this function we're going to use um, Firebase Auth just like before. Auth, actually, let's make it async function. Async, so auth dot, we're going to use sign in with pop up function. Sign in with pop up. So, pop up window will appear that will allow users to log in with Google. So, we're going to use the Google Auth provider which i think we have imported yes we have from firebase okay so we're going to open up the pop-up window to um, allow the users to log in with google this will give us the response we can handle that using then so then we get the we can use the error function here then we get the result we can even make this async in fact we have to make this async so here we get the result so from that result we can destructure user just like before so const user equals to result so once we get the user we want to get the id token as well just like we did here earlier we get the user we get the token we can get that all right so once you do that again we're going to come back here 
because we're going to ma be making requests to our own backend get the response from there and based on the user role we're going to redirect to certain uh, different pages but for now uh, we don't have that yet so we can dispatch to um, redux tool just like we did earlier so we can do that let's copy that come back here paste here so you can see we did this a little differently before we use try and catch we used um, then now which is perfectly fine so all this happening inside then but if there is an error we can just catch the error catch error it's a function again we can just console log error perfect now we have google login as well why don't we actually not just console log but show the error message as well this can be useful for users as well so let's use colibris console log and at the same time toast dot error error message so if there is an error we get the error message from 5s so we can show that to user let's give it a try error is not defined 57 okay so i called it error so make sure to be consistent i guess error perfect all right so we can obviously okay so we got the loading here okay so i did it the wrong way if loading is true i should show loading otherwise i should show login but it i put it the wrong way let me cut this out from here and just put here and this load login should be here All right so if loading state is true then we show loading otherwise we show login okay that looks good of course the login with email and password works so let's try login with google i'm already logged in so it might actually log me in okay so it asked me okay so I pick my email and i didn't have to even enter the password because i'm already logged in here you can see i'm already logged in how good is that perfect but if i wasn't logged in let me actually try sign out again okay, logged out now if i try to log in again perfect 